I want to talk about the saying, reclaim your power. <sighs> Words carry so much frequency behind them. And it's like when we say certain things, we don't even actually realize what we're saying because it's so trendy. Like, let's just reclaim our power. But I want you to really think about when you say reclaim your power, it's saying that you've either given your power away to someone else and you need to pull it back into yourself or someone's taken your power away from you. Either way, your power is outside of you and it's not inside of you. Sorry, I'm going on a little bit of a rant here <laughs> with this, but oh, yeah. So when we say things like that, it's like, oh, now I got to do all this work and all this healing so I can regain my power. So let's think about shifting our words and my challenge that I created, it's called embody your power because when I was saying reclaim your power, it didn't feel good inside of me and now I'm starting to really tap into when certain words or frequencies or things don't feel good to me. It's for a reason. Usually there's some type of like shame and fixing and needing to change and like healing and work that needs to be done that's underneath it. So when you say embody your power, that's saying that your power is inside of you. It's always been inside of you. It's never been outside of you. And there's nothing you need to do other than just be yourself and be it. Like just cultivate that from inside yourself. Do you hear the difference? So it's time for you to embody your power. And you can join my free five day challenge it's all in my bio, all the videos, and let's have some fun and let's embody your freaking power now.